People living in the West Metro now have their library back. After 14 months of construction, the Ridgedale Library is open for business once again. As Delane Cleveland reports, the renovated library was designed to meet the changing expectations of patrons. Well, I think this place is great. Every year, more than 300,000 people make their way to the Ridgedale Library. Lindsay Kabosnik of Plymouth is one of them. Um, well, my little boy loves to pick up books from the library. He thinks it's super fun to kind of explore, and we like to kind of get new books. The library can introduce her son to a world of imagination and adventure. But as he gets older, the hope is that $7 million worth of renovations will keep him and other children coming back. Uh, we completely redid the inside of the library. Ann Woodson Hicks helped oversee the 14-month construction project, which transformed this 55,000 square foot space. The library now has more meeting rooms. Like a media room. So we have an opportunity for people to bring their own device in, plug in. We have the cords, improved Wi-Fi connection, a hundred more electrical outlets, and more natural light. It was a project driven in large part by the feedback of patrons. The library needs to be about the community and the best way for us to do that is to actually hear from the community. The last time Ridgedale had undergone a major renovation was in 1999, but the needs and wants of people have changed since then. I think a lot of it is probably just staying relevant. Um, certainly the books are the basis of that relevancy. Uh, we also have heard and know that people need a place to congregate and collaborate. Now, patrons here can congregate with more comfort and convenience. Upon first glance, Lindsay likes what she sees. I think it's nice that it's open and it looks a lot cleaner and the stations are set up nicely. It seems like it's very um, kid friendly. After 14 months of construction, library officials are eager for those 300,000 visitors to return and enjoy. This is what I look forward to the most is the grand opening and turning the building back over to the public. At the Ridgedale Library, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News. The Ridgedale Library opened in 1982. After the renovations, the library will still have the same amount of books, CDs, and DVDs in its collection, and that is 220,000 items worth.